Concerns over the conditions of Cave Spring High School continue tonight after getting several calls from parents about photos online. A local nonprofit will hold a public meeting on the effects of mold on children. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti has more on how the group is hoping to help. How much did it affect your everyday life? Oh wow, it affects every single aspect of an individual's life, um, socially, emotionally, physically. Mitzi Hartwell is still recovering from mold illness. Now she heads Forward Bound Incorporated, which focuses on protecting the community from mold issues and Lyme disease. When photos taken inside Cave Spring High School started flying all over on social media, so did the phone calls from concerned parents. We got a fair amount of calls from concerned parents and community members uh, about the mold situation. Due to the concerns, Forward Bound is hosting a public meeting featuring Dr. Janine Talti, a local physician who treats patients with mold related illnesses. She says one of the biggest concerns about mold is that it's often invisible. You don't have to see mold going up a, a wall to be affected by it um, because the mycotoxins circulate in the air. Hartwell expresses mold concerns in light of recent inclement weather. With all the recent water damage and flooding and our environmental changes, this is an issue that the community faces. So how serious can mold illness get for kids? It's extremely serious. It's often what is probably likely the core diagnosis, really, of chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. Talti says it's not just the kids' health that's at risk. The hardest patients I have to help get all well are the teachers. They get better over the three months of, of summer break and then they walk right back in the fall to sick buildings. My hope is that the community can come together and address this issue as one. In Roanoke County, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.